Hello darlings, welcome back to part two of our retro renovation series. I last left you with an unfinished crochet curtain and lots of plans we had yet to start. Now that it's the weekend and my husband is home, we are going to be painting a few of the cabinets and hanging some shelves. I absolutely cannot wait for you to see our progress. But first, let's do a quick recap. Our home was built in 1950, and since then there have been some modern changes made to it, such as adding a second sloped roof and converting the garage into what you all know now as my and Adam's shared studio space. This means the original construction of this home likely resembled these mid-century modern flat tops, which featured the same tar and gravel roof we have under our existing roof. This type of house was considered a contemporary build and appealed to young and growing families. It featured a more open concept, layout for the home perfect for entertaining, which was something cherished during the post-war time. Our house even features this unique open area off the living room, which was referred to as the multi-purpose room, which was perfect for dining or a playroom, and we use it for the kids' computer and our beloved record player. Now back to our weekend in the kitchen, where we are finally going to break into that beautiful vintage blue paint and create the 1950s kitchen of my dreams. We are so lucky that the original 1950s cabinetry was never replaced, and the only changes being made to it were by us in 2020 with a few coats of gray and cream paint, which are actually going to serve well for a bit of primer under the new aqua color. In this episode, I also finally finished the crochet curtain I started in episode one, which opens up my time for new handmade project in this renovation, but more on that later. For now, it's time to get started on the cabinets and hanging some new open shelving to store vintage knickknacks and spices. We did end up doing a, light, a bit of light sanding after the washing up of the cabinet doors just to give it some grit for the paint to cling to. The paint I chose for this project is called All-in-One Heritage Furniture Paint in the color Amafari, which is this gorgeous classic aqua color. I used the recommended brush and foam roller method recommended on their site and in the end only needed one coat of paint with a half-hearted touch-up for the second coat. I was really grateful to have the first layer of cabinet paint from what we had done in 2020 as I believe three full coats may have been necessary with the original wood color.
After living here for two years, I still never have been fully committed to the task of getting the grime off the original tile backsplash behind our oven. I've tried several cleaners and always got overwhelmed when they didn't work. However, I recently read a vintage hack for quickly cleaning a shower using apple cider vinegar and baking soda, and I applied this technique to the backsplash. It worked perfectly and was so clean, our son had thought we repainted the tiles as well as the cabinet. So I call that a win. After taking an evening out to get some supper, since we were just too tired to be bothered to cook, I spent late into the night finishing my curtain so that it was ready for the morning. I'm so pleased with it and so excited to add more handmade accents as we get further into this project. All in all, I consider this weekend a satisfying, proper start to this renovation, and I can really start to see what this kitchen is going to look like when finished. It's no longer just an idea in my head, but a start to something real that will be done before we know it. I cannot wait to cook all my favorite recipes in this kitchen for ourselves and others while listening to our favorite radio shows and music, and just enjoying our little 1950s paradise in 2023. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye. interrupt this episode to bring you exciting news about how you can support small businesses. Stay tuned after the show to learn more. 
Are you tired of losing your spot in your knitting? Would you like to add some unique handmade items to your accessories? Look no further than Simply Serving on Etsy.com. Simply Serving is a woman-run handmade business that offers a wide range of handmade products. From stitch markers and progress keepers to earrings and necklaces, handmade in the central United States, Simply Serving can guarantee a personalized experience for artists and lovers of the arts. Using crafting supplies such as economically sourced wood, polymer clay, and U.S. printed paintings, Simply Serving is sure to have something you will love. So head on over to simplyserving.etsy.com and see how you can support artists who make their living with their own two hands. Simply Serving. Notions and accessories. Handmade just for you.